have seen that recently HMRC have had some success in combating tax evasion, whatever the definition of success is, the numbers are quite big. In the 2019-20 tax year, 430 detailed investigations gathered in £190 million in tax that the revenue wouldn't have got if they hadn't had that, those investigations. Um, unsurprisingly, a lot of the investigations were to do with people hiding money abroad, basically hiding foreign assets in the kind of um, out of sight, out of mind principle underpinning tax evasion. Now, as well as that crackdown on tax evasion, which is a continuous one, there is the HMRC high net worth unit that was set up in 2009, I think, that looks specially at the affairs of the over 6,000 people with over 20 million pounds in net assets in the UK. And of course, we can expect a continuation of the action against aggressive tax avoidance that defeats the intent of Parliament. We'll see more on what the revenue are doing about that, I would expect, in the next budget, the, the autumn budget. So that's probably going to be around November time. Now, all of this, which seems in some senses bad news, is actually very good news for financial planners because it gives you a great opportunity to reinforce the fact that the strategies that you adopt and the products that you adopt and the structures that you adopt in your financial planning are all absolutely fine and free from risk of attacks and are truly tried and tested. You should definitely not underestimate the power and importance of this reassurance to your clients.